Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. It's collaboration week and I've got Miguel Barkley in the channel. Hi there. He has got three awesome books out. Well, the third one's not quite out yet. Yeah, coming out in July 2018. One pound meals. And for this, we've got one on the channel to cook this. Which is a one pound Singapore chow mein. I mean, look at that. Ready in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, for this recipe, I'm going to take the back seat and just do some shopping. What are we going to do? Okay, so I'm in charge. Yep. Um, what we're going to do is I just need you to slice the onion. Perfect. Long strips? Yeah, long strips, perfect. So we're going to get the heat going on this. It's a nice little pan. Yeah, this is one of my uh, individual portion pans. Uh, everything I do, I only cook for one person. Uh, so everything I have is sort of quite small. It's to make him look bigger. <laughs> yeah, He's only got yeah. small, <laughs> tiny tools. Yeah, look at the size look at of me. me, I'm huge! <laughs> Dear. Right, so onions chopped, garlic. Yeah, a little bit of garlic. How do you want this? Just any way you want for the garlic. Okay. We have got these here, and they're one pound meals. These things are brilliant, I have to say, they are absolutely brilliant. Every single recipe is a pound. And he didn't lie about it. They're actually true. Verified. They're actually facts. Because I have checked most of them now and they are all a pound. So go and check them out. Links in the description box down below which takes you straight through to pre-order them, I suppose. Yeah, no. Or order them. Real order them. Amazon. Real order. Actual real order them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to go in with a little bit of sesame oil. I love that. I, it's it's my, one of my favourite oils. I find that it just gives it that lovely sort of nuttiness. And it's, it's a strong oil, isn't it? Well, that's it. I like to finish dishes with it. Yeah. Um, like some of the taste you're going to lose because we're putting it in it at the beginning. But yeah. it doesn't matter. It was the closest oil to me. And that's what really matters. That's with lovely. The one that pound that meals. was some sesame, oil, sesame seeds over yeah. the top. It's just gorgeous. Lovely. Um, so go in with the onions and the garlic. All at the same time? Yeah. And then I'm going to pop in some chilies. So we just want some crushed chilies. Uh, these ones are dried. I'm just going to crush them myself. What are these? These just just dry chilies. So you can pick up like a whole bag like that for a quid. Thai, are they? Uh, yes, yeah, Thai ones. Thai. We're in the Thai aisle at the supermarket. So um... Nice. Right, so we're going to get this cooking. If you could chop up the spring onion for me. So these sort of things must be like five to ten minutes tops then. Yeah, so uh, normally it's about having the number of ingredients scaled down and then that means the price comes down, the time it takes to cook comes down, the, the, the complication of the dish comes down. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, pop those in there. Okay. And if you could chop up the uh, pepper as well. Do you want me some long one. strips again? Uh, yeah, long strips, perfect. Perfect. So how long have you been doing your YouTube channel? So the YouTube channel's been going for probably about a year now. Yeah. Um, but uh, Instagram is probably the main thing that I do. That's your main platform, is it? Yeah, it's because it's something that I'm doing every single day. Like YouTube, I probably post something once a week. Right. But uh, Instagram, you can go on my Instagram stories. I've probably done six or seven today already. That's um, long, because that's the one thing I'm quite slow with. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because I'm here by myself most of the time. So I just think to myself, what am I going to record? Yeah. It's just me. <laughs> Not doing anything. No. <laughs> but you'll be surprised. Like people want to know what you're you doing. Then I've got to do my hair, yeah. do my makeup. <laughs> do you want this in? Yeah, yeah, throw that in. Next. Right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of the spices in there. What we got? So we've got a little bit of turmeric. So this is gonna give it that lovely yellow colour. Nice. Uh, and then just a little bit of normal curry powder. So okay. just I don't know, a teaspoon of each, that'd be perfect. Fine. I'm on that. I can free pour. Yeah, come yeah. on. Do it by eye. Teaspoon? Perfect, that's perfect. You can measure that. Spot on. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, lovely, lovely. Yep, perfect. So give that a little bit of a stir around. Um, now we can throw in some prawns. Now these look like expensive prawns. No! He supplied the prawns, you see. They're I told not. him to get small ones, but to you that's a small prawn. Oh, because you live in Norwich, you probably get good that's prawns. All, that's all we get. Okay, cool. Well, let's go some of those in there. Um, so this, this, this will be more like £1.30 meals. Yeah, we might have broken the budget on this. Uh, but right. can you see how everything goes a lovely yellow colour? Mm, nice. exactly what we want. 
Um, now if we get cooking these, so these are sort of vermicelli rice noodles. Nice. Um, just put them under hot water. So if you get the zip tap on, Lovely. get those uh, in the water. Get right. them to soften up. So these are just going to soften up. So get yourself some tongs and sort of break them apart. Uh, you want them to be slightly undercooked because the heat from the pan is going to cook them a little bit more. Uh, and what we're going to do now uh, is we're going to just break an egg in there. Okay. So if we grab a spoon, do you want it straight in? Uh, yep. Yeah. We're just going to push everything to the side. Oh, lovely egg cracking technique. <laughs> Anyone thinks I can cook? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to wait till the egg's about 80% cooked. So just, just like you're doing a normal fried egg. So you're doing this like an egg fried rice. Yeah, and then we just it scramble it at the end and it gives nice sort of little, I don't know, nuggets of egg nice. uh, throughout the dish. So what do you do recipe wise then, concept wise? Do you just sit there and recipe test all the time? Yeah, I probably do three or four recipes a day. Yeah. Um, I don't even bother photographing most of them. I just, because mm. some of them take four or five attempts over, over a couple of weeks. So like you might tweak a product here and there. Yeah. Uh, and then most of what I do is um, price analysis. Which is a little bit geeky. I kind of like that though. Yeah. Is, uh, I'm going to have to bring this up actually yeah. because your, what's your app called? It's called Comparisaurus. This is genius yeah. and it's something <laughs> which I've been thinking about for a long time but he's really done it so yeah, beat me to it. Really. So basically it takes the prices from all the supermarkets, you type in what you're looking for uh, and then it just gives you the price like a normal price comparison website. How clever is that? So I mean, so if you just want to work out the basis of one meal and get it at the lowest cost, you just type in, say, chicken breast, and it will do a comparison across all the big major um, retailers. It's good. Yeah, no, it saves me a hell of a lot of time. We're just plugging yeah. everything in this one. Yeah, I'm that getting a lot of in the plugs in. Box as well. yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so can we see we scrambled the eggs here? Nice. So that just goes into the sort of the main body of the dish. And then we're going to get our noodles. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, and pop those in. Now you wish you had a bigger pan, don't you? <laughs> yeah. And you're going to see how the noodles are going to go yellow. So that's the colour that you're going to recognise from your sort of classic um, Singapore chow mein. And then what we want to do is try and break the noodles apart a bit. They have a tendency of clumping together. So just grab your tongs and sort of stretch them out a little bit. And here we go. That looks lovely. Here really is good. your one pound Singapore chow mein. This is why I like this chap, because you do very similar sort of recipes to me. Simple, not expensive, and it's realistic, it's realistic cooking. What's that, 10 minutes? Yeah, exactly. You've got a healthy little stir fry there. Yeah, all for one pound. Right, can I try it? Yeah, let's go. Look, mate, that looks banging. Yeah. Really, really good. I'm going first in on this. I'll give it a little try. <laughs> Remember what I said Chopsticks about the noodles on camera. sticking. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> and the final bit. <laughs> it's good. It's light. Yeah. It's not overpowering. A little bit of warmth going through there. Of course, a little bit of kick through there with warmth. Are you sure they're Thai chilies? I don't know what they are, but always wash your hands after you've Ooh, touched them. Well, it's definitely got a nice <laughs> little kick to it. Look, listen, man, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Problem. It's been a long time coming, it really has. If you want to know more about Miguel's channel, go across the description box down below, which takes you straight through to his website. Check him out on Instagram as well. Buy his books if you want. They're pretty damn good. And I'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye-bye.